Welcome. Today we're making a classic French omelet with green apples and goat cheese with a watercress salad. I'm Chef Trent and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. Alright, to start off the making of this omelet, we're just going to peel and julienne this apple. So, got a normal ceramic peeler here. This is going to keep it from oxidizing pretty quickly. And a lot of people peel straight down with the apple. I actually like to use the contour of the apple and just start at the top and essentially just trying to get the peel off in one piece. And we get to the end, we just cut it off. And we can save these, definitely dehydrate them. Um, and you can eat them as chips if you'd like. And when julienning an apple, um, you're going to want to just round off the shape. So these definitely cannot be thrown away. Just use them as snacks. But we're just shaping the apple to where we can get a very nice slice, about a sixteenth of an inch. And right next to our apples, we do have a little bit of water with some lemon juice in it. And this is just to raise the pH of the water uh, to not let our apples oxidize, essentially. So these go in the water. Do not leave them in the water for very long. This is just a temporary solution so they don't go brown on you extremely quick. We'll set those to the side and we will start on our vinaigrette. First thing that goes in, a little bit of Dijon mustard. Great emulsifier. We're going to go in with some vinegar and then also a little bit of fresh ground black pepper and salt. We'll take our oil and at this stage you want to whisk and make this just this harmonious mixture. Make sure everything's nicely incorporated together in the bottom of your bowl before you start to add your oil. Now when adding your oil you want to do this droplets at a time. You do not want to go quick. So take your time when doing this or you're just going to end up with a broken emulsion. Let's go grab our eggs for our omelet. And now we're going to make our omelet. So when making an omelet, you want to source the best eggs that you could possibly find. These are beautiful eggs. We're just going to take two out of our dozen, slide these to the side, and then crack our eggs. Nice flat surface. Beautiful yolk color. Grab a fork, we'll add a little bit of salt and white pepper. And then we're just going to take a fork and whisk these eggs. And we're going to gradually stir this until all our whites kind of just go away. We'll just give that a final stir. And that's ready to go. Set this to the side for right now. And we have a little bit of salted butter. We'll just melt this, extremely low temperature. You're going to not want it to brown. You don't want to see a lot of action happening when that butter hits the pan. Essentially, all we want to do is melt this butter gently. We're going to gently cook this omelet. And now we can go in with our eggs. So just drop our eggs right in. And when making your omelet, start stirring as soon as your eggs hit the pan. This is an extremely gentle heat again. And we're going to just do this circular motion shaking back and forth. And the reason behind this is you're actually creating all these small little curds that are just going to add wonderful texture to the middle of your omelet. And now you can start to see that the texture of our eggs have changed. They look extremely creamy. So from this point, we're literally just going to use our spatula and spread all that creamy egg around into a nice circle. So you can see there's no more pools of wet egg 
It's all just nice custardy egg and it's nicely set. So we're gonna grab our ingredients. This is just a little julienne apple. A little bit of goat cheese. And now from this point, this is essentially the payoff time. Um, you're going to just tilt your pan forward, start from your handle in, work your spatula underneath that first lip, and just fold over very gently. And the eggs on the inside are super custardy, so it's actually going to help adhere your other side very easily. You can use your spatula to kind of push everything in the middle of it, but then again, just working it down the pan very gently, taking your time, and come right onto our plate. One end out first, and then the other end. And then we have just a little tiny cube or knob of some salted butter that we're gonna brush right over the top. It's gonna to give a remarkable shine, and it just tastes delicious. And now we'll dress our salad. A little bit of vinaigrette. We'll just give that a light stir. Dress our salad greens very lightly. Give it a nice toss. Stack our watercress up nice and high. And before I taste this, I just want to show you, I'm going to cut into the middle of this omelet and just reveal the wonderful textures that we've created by taking all those wonderful steps. So it's just this set outside that's delicately smooth and on the inside is just this creamy custardy egg um, that just gives you a wonderful texture all the way throughout the omelet. It's almost like it tastes like there's cream in it but there is no cream. And we'll give it a taste. It's seasoned perfectly. The goat cheese is remarkably mild, adds a wonderful flavor profile. The apples give a nice crunch and a sweetness. The watercress with the vinaigrette just cuts through all the richness on the dish. This one could take a little practice, but I can tell you it's worth it. It's a breakfast with a wow factor that takes some impressive but simple techniques. To get this recipe, click the link below and subscribe to more Publix Aprons Cooking School online videos and other content from Publix. Thank you.